What's up, guys? It's me, StormXVI, and I am here today with a medieval house tutorial. Now, this this house is one of my favorite builds that I can do because it's taken me a very long time to get it just right, and I'm I, I'm in love with it. All right, you're going to need some oak wood, unrefined oak wood. You're going to place it one here and leave one block free in the middle, so you have kind of feeding right there. Then you're going to take spruce wood. Put it on each side, one back. So there's three blocks in the middle of that. After that, you're going to take oak wood again. Go one, two, three, four, five down. Copy that on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And then copy what we did on the front, where we put spruce and then oak. We have a nice little oval looking shape right there. Start with the front. Oak wood planks right there. Top it off with another oak wood plank. And we cover that with oak wood unrefined. Repeat that on the other side with one small difference. Instead of putting the oak wood planks in the middle, we're just going to cover it with oak wood, like that. Next, we're going to take spruce wood and build it up to where it is two higher, or five high total, than the front. Bring it in one on each side. Go up two. One, like that. Now we have a nice little front. We're going to go ahead and copy that on the other side. Five, two, one, two. All right, look at that. Smashing, isn't it? Now we're going to fill the inside of this, where visible on the outside, with cobblestone. A little bit of variety. Do that on the back as well. Build here. All righty. And now to make the front look less dramatic, we're going to put some stairs on top, like this, where the two top ones are facing into each other, and then each of these faces into the oak wood. Put one right there. Fill in the top space with a oak wood plank. Like, not oak wood plank, oak wood slab, sorry. Next, we are going to build up the sides. We're going to build one, two, three three, higher, and fill that in on the top. Cover this with stone brick. This on the other side. Oh, fill it with stone brick again. Now we do the back side, the back awning. Take almost exactly what we did in the front, but instead of putting a oak wood plank slab, on the top, we're just going to go flat out and put a oak wood stair. Now on the back, we don't want two doors, so we're going to fill this up with cobblestone. Okay, now we're going to start the roof. The roof is relatively simple. We're going to put stairs on the top bit of each spruce wood, like this. Fill in this space with some oak wood planks. Now on the sides, we're going to go on the very top of the block and go all the way across. Repeat what we did on the other side. Planks and the stairs on top of the spruce. On the other side, do the exact same thing again. <laughs> Filling in the roof. Flat out, fill on the roof. There's not much to say about that. This. All right, now that we've done the roof, going to add outlets to add some depth. Each side, where it's hanging over, like that. That, pop it off with oak wood uh, slabs. All the way across, thing on the front. Roof. Like that. Now on the two sides, we're going to bring it out one more again. So the uh, change isn't too dramatic. This. We've got a nice rolling roof right there. Next, we're going to add the weird pointy Nordic things. I forget what the balls are called, but here we go. Add one 
plank, another plank, and then a third plank. And on top of the third plank, we're going to put a slab. Then next to the slab, we're going to put a stair, like that. Now, on the bottom of this stair, we're going to put a lower slab to where it's not on the top. Slabs are. Next, we'll put a stair here and two slabs outward. And on this last row, we're going to put two stairs, like that. So we got a nice little spike. I think I'm going to change this right here and put a plank right there. Yeah. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other slab, on the other side. One, two, three planks. Third slab. There. Put that, 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 that. Like this. Both sides. On top of the roof, we are going to on the sides of the roof. Sorry, we're going to change all the edges with chocolate wood. There's, I guess you could call it, but chocolate wood's so much cooler because chocolate's freaking delicious. So we're going to take spruce planks again. Here. Right there. There's. All the way around the edge. Build and put box. Okay, now to give the roof a bit more depth and better look, we're going to put stripes on here. One block three in the middle. Go straight up with them, replacing the blocks that they would be on. All the way to the top. All the way down, we're going to place the trim blocks as well. Hello. Right, so now that that's done, we're going to mess with the crazy Nordic spiky things. On that. Crazy Nordic spiking things, we're going to replace that block with some spruce wood. There, like that. And then I think. We're going to replace this block right here at the very bottom. There. Exact same thing on the other side. Replace the block right there. Yep. And right here. And on the bottom. Okay. Now we have the roof done. Now we're going to pull out fences and fence gates. Grab those in my inventory. We're going to start off putting fence gates at the front here and here. Now, to make these look better and to make them look like they're hanging from something, get oak wood slabs and oak wood planks. There's. There they are. Put these slabs on the bottom right here on top of those and put slabs here as well. Now, we're going to put fences here. Now on the side, we're going to put one on each of the edges, and then we're going to put fence gates in between those. We have a nice little... Put one on the corners, and do the exact same thing we did in the front with the slabs and the fence gates. That. Round. Did on the other side, exactly the same. I destroyed a stone brick. Alrighty. All the way around. Now that we've got that fancy bit done, we're going to do the hanging. So three down or two down, it's it's more your preference. I, I like going three down because I think it looks better. Put glowstone on the bottom of that to make it look like it's hanging. And we do the same thing on the back. One. That. There we go. Back to the front. We are going to put oak leaves and uh, jack-o'-lanterns in our an in our inventory. Place the jack-o'-lanterns here, here in the very front. 
fence, another fence right there. Bushes. Bushes, oak leaves, you know. The bushes bring the fences all the way up to connect. So it looks like... Oh, wait, not on the bushes. What, what am I thinking? Then we're going to bring jack lanterns over here on this side. Connect these the fences on top. And we're going to fill the space in between more bushes to give it a little bit more color. Bush, the jack o' lantern, and a jack o' lantern. Fence. The bush, bush, bush. Right there. Just like that. Same exact thing on this side. Lots well, of this is just symmetrical. Okay, on that side. Like that. One of the final things we're going to be doing is adding wooden buttons. See this cobblestone front? Wooden buttons in there. And then we're going to take signs. Find them. Here they are. Place one here, one here, and one here. Now this top one, you can write the name of the building or the name of the owner of the house. That way, you can know who it is. I don't think I'm going to do interior on this one because, you know, that just leaves it up to you. But we're going to, I usually like to have windows on the side about there. I prefer using glass panes because it adds even more depth. Oh, look, it's a little cow. He's stealing my house. Clown. Now, if you want to go the extra mile, make the outside look better, you can surround it with stone slabs. This. Build. Oh gosh, oh shambles. Alrighty, there we go. All the way around. Slabs all the way around, almost done. I've always thought this makes it look much better. Road, go here. Like this. Oh. Fine, you can put whatever you want. For example, on this one, since that cow nicely took this house, I'm going to name it Cow's House. Cow's House. That's how you do a simple Minecraft medieval house. That looks pretty dang good. Thanks.